Hi friends, I'm Dan Walsh from Exploring More Children's Museum, and today we're going to be working on flying devices. For this experiment, you're going to need a propeller, a paper clip, a craft stick, a piece of uh, foam, two rubber bands, and then outside of your kit, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need tape, a marker, and scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our propeller and our craft stick and you're going to pop the propeller right onto the craft stick, just like this. And then, next, we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to bend it open just like this. So it's open just a little bit and then we're going to tape it on the bottom of our craft stick. So I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to put on the bottom of our craft stick just like this, and I'm going to tape it on. I'm probably going to use two pieces of tape just to make sure I got it taped down okay. So it's going to look just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to need our two rubber bands. So grab your rubber bands. And then we're going to attach it at the top hook. So you can probably do one rubber band at a time. I'm going to pop it on. And then at the very bottom with the paper clip, we're going to put it on. So it's kind of like a little hook. And then I'm going to take my second paper or rubber band, pop it right on there. And it's going to look exactly like this. Next, we're going to put this down because we're going to use the piece of foam and a marker and then you're going to invent your flying device so you can draw an airplane if you want, a helicopter. I'm going to draw a UFO just to have a little fun with my project today. So it's going to kind of look almost like a little football. I'm going to add some little details on there. Probably draw a little Martian draw, driving the spaceship. So this is my little UFO. Next what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to cut out my UFO. Now that you have your flying device cut out, what we're going to do is we're going to tape it on to our craft stick. So get a long piece of tape, and then you're going to fold it over to form a little tape ball, and then we're going to stick it on our craft stick. So stick it right there, and then your UFO is going to go there, and make sure it's probably on the other side of the rubber bands. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to take it to the testing field. So make sure you're in an area that has a lot of space and that your friends aren't around because we don't want the helicopter or the airplane to crash into our, any of our friends. Because what we're going to do is we're going to hold two things. We're going to hold the bottom of our airplane and then we're going to hold the propeller because we're going to start to spin it. And it might take a few tries, so don't get frustrated, but just keep trying because eventually it's going to click. So it gave away just then. But you're going to keep spinning it. And then as you're going, you're going to start to see a bunch of knots forming. We want to make sure we keep going even though we see a few knots. So that's going to make sure it flies as high as it can go. So keep going. So it's going to look something like this. And then the process of uh, flying your flying devices, uh, it's a two-step process. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the propeller, and then you're going to hold the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to let go of the propeller first, and then we're going to let go of the bottom. So you want to let go of the bottom like a split second after you let go of the top, 
because the top's going to start spinning and then you can let go and it should fly away. But it might take a few tries. So let me try it the first time, see what happens. Woo! So it flew perfectly. Um, let me grab it real quick. So you just got to make sure you let go of the propeller first and then the bottom and then it's going to take off. So once you have that down, you can use this as an engine to build on different projects. So what I did was I took a little cardboard car that I built and then inside your kit you have your wheels and axles so that you can put them on different things like uh, pop bottles or even this is just a piece of cardboard. So next what I'll do is I can tape my propeller right on here and then I have a little air powered car that can zoom around the house. I'm going to get my piece of tape going. So it looks something like this. So once you wind it up, you can let it go and then the car will drive away. You can put it on Legos, so the sky's the limit when it comes to these propeller um, machines. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you had a lot of fun.